The Kyler Murray letter is hilarious. You're looking at the mind of an athlete who doubts himself, who realizes that he doesn't have anything left. He put his all out there, and the NFL figured him out. I mean, look at his last, what, eight games last year? He played horrible. Playoffs included. He played terrible. They, they wanted like a six, seven-game slide. The NFL figured him out. Keep him in the pocket. He's useless. And he wrote that letter, and you're saying he gave up baseball. Did someone, did the Cardinals, Steve Klein, and uh, whatever that coach's name, I forget his name, it escapes me. Did they hold a gun to your head and tell you to sign this contract? No, you chose to sign the contract. And guess what? It didn't work out for you. Because now you got figured out. And he's basically telling everybody, I need to get paid now because next year, if I'm under the same contract, I'm not getting another deal. And he knows it. He knows it. So he wants to maximize his profits now, as anyone should. But here's the thing. You're under contract now, uh, Kyler. You have the worst attitude, the worst body language I've ever seen from a football player, from an athlete. And you have to play out your contract. And you making this letter right now is telling everybody that you doubt yourself. You know that this is how it's going to be in the NFL for the rest of your remainder of your 10-year career in the NFL. And you know that you'll never be what you want to be and what you couldn't be because you don't have the ability to be what you want to be because if they keep you in the pocket, you are worthless. And that's the truth. We've seen that in the playoffs. He played horrible down the stretch. And uh, if I'm the Cardinals right now, you're playing out the contract. You have a great year next year, which won't happen. But if you do, then maybe we'll talk about extension. But other than that, you're signed a contract. It's time to live up to it, you moron. And besides, if he really believed in himself, he would play and have a great season. The more, listen, the longer you wait, the more money you're going to make in the NFL. You sign now, there's more money later. So why would you want to get a deal done now if you believe in yourself? I don't see Joe Burrow saying pay me now. Joe Burrow's smart. He wants to be paid later because he knows it'll be worth more money three years down the road, whatever. Kyler Murray doubts himself. He knows he doesn't have it. He knows what the NFL, they figured him out. They figure out these backyard football players. I mean, look at Lamar Jackson. Look at Pat Mahomes. They figured him out. Oh, Mahomes didn't get figured out. Yes, he did. Blew a 21-3 lead at halftime. He got figured out. So Kyler Murray, and we won't even put Kyler Murray on Mahomes' level right now because Mahomes still has a chance to become a Hall of Fame quarterback, but I don't believe I think Mahomes' career right now is going to be jettisoned downward. I think it's trending downward. Um, Mahomes, the only way Mahomes is effective, he's running around. If you put him in the pocket, he's not a good quarterback. He's not. He's just not. But that's for another story. Uh, honestly, Baker Mayfield, I would take him over Kyler Murray in a heartbeat. And people are going to sit there and say, oh, did you see how bad he played last year? Of course, he was injured. Um, if Baker Mayfield was completely healthy last year and played like that, then I'd say get rid of him. But Baker Mayfield was severely injured. Uh, see, here's the thing about Baker Mayfield. You take away his arm talent, his arm strength and accuracy, which are his two um, attributes, he's useless, just like any quarterback would be. So you took away that with his injury. I mean, you could just see he had no arm strength, no accuracy. When he's healthy, Baker Mayfield, honestly, Baker Mayfield in the playoffs two years ago played better than Joe Burrow did this whole playoff stretch. And that's a fact. If we had a head coach that wasn't a bitch that knew how to run a professional offense, we would have went to the Super Bowl that year. But Kevin Stefanski stopped us from going to the Super Bowl with this uh, prevented offense. Um, yeah, Baker Mayfield, when the lights came on bright in the playoffs, he played at an elite level. And um, I'm embarrassed that our coach stopped us from beating the Chiefs. Everything lined up for us to win. Um, he just got tight. You know, I used to think Stefanski was an uh, aggressive coach until I realized it's all about analytics. So, yeah, Browns fans, if they do get rid of Baker Mayfield, you can bet your sweet bippy that he's going to be on a TA. Trust me, Baker Mayfield will go somewhere else. And I hate that little motherfucker. He's an easy guy to hate. But I'm going to tell you something. Baker Mayfield leaves Cleveland. You're going to be regretting it because you know what Baker Mayfield is? He is exactly what Brett Favre is. He's going to throw you. I know the NFL standard, 20-some minutes, what, 18, 17, 20 interceptions isn't Today's NFL, I know that's what it was in Brett Favre's era, but that's what Baker Mayfield is. He'll throw you 40 TDs, but he's going to throw you 15 to 20 interceptions a year. That's what he is. He's a gunslinger. And if you can live with that, then you're going to have a nice quarterback. But if you can't live with the 15 to 20 interceptions and the 40 TDs, then you're going to have to move on. But that's what he's going to give you. He's never going to be the guy that's going to – I mean, he's going to throw interceptions. You need to let Baker Mayfield play gunsling it. He's going to throw interceptions, but he's also going to throw touchdowns. you got to understand, that's how he plays. And right now, if I was him, I'd want out of Cleveland because the fancy's offense, I mean, we've seen it with Stephon Diggs and Odell Beckham. I mean, if it was no Stephon Diggs, we can blame Mayfield for the Beckham thing. But with Stephon Diggs, we got to blame uh, Stefanski. It's right there in front of you. I mean, you had two elite receivers complain about Stefanski, demand to be traded, and they both did because of Kevin Stefanski. So who's the uh, underlying thing? Who's the, uh, 
the common denominator. Kevin Stefanski. Was Baker Mayfield in Minnesota? No, he wasn't. So, yeah, Baker Mayfield will throw you 40 TDs. And he might throw you 15 to 20 interceptions. But guess what? He's going to win you games. But you got to let him play his way. Kyler Murray, your career's over. You're just, um, you got to figure it out. And you'll never get any good over it. So I can't wait. I hope the Browns, I want to get rid of Mayfield because I want a quarterback that can run. But I know when he goes somewhere else, I can't wait. I hope. I wish he'd go to Pittsburgh. And just as long as Stefanski's in Cleveland, I hope he goes to Pittsburgh and dominates us. But if we get rid of Stefanski, if he goes to Pittsburgh, I want to dominate him. But I just don't like Stefanski because he's the problem. Browns fans are so dumb. They, they have so much blind hatred towards a little midget quarterback that they don't realize the big problem is Kevin Stefanski. This guy ran a quarterback out there injured in an exploitable condition so he could show everybody that he was horrible. He knew he had Baker Mayfield right where he wanted him, an exploitable condition. Because you know what? Think about it. NFL coaches, who plays a quarterback that is injured so badly and is playing so horrible? That's an excuse to bench him and put in your guy you brought in from Minnesota. But he didn't do that. Why? He was in an exploitable condition. He wanted to show the NFL and everybody how bad he was so he can get rid of him. And guess what? Jimmy Haslam said, you better figure out an offense because he's going to be our quarterback next year. So, Kevin. You've tried playing hardball with the guy that owns uh, Seven Flags or whatever the fuck it is, Flying B. You got punk because you know what? You got to build an offense around that little midget quarterback. And guess what? You're going to have to start expanding your horizons because the NFL, they're playing chess. We're playing checkers. Kyler Murray, play out your contract, boy. Uh, Cardinals, cut him. Release him. He's terrible. He got exploited in the playoffs. Baker Mayfield, act like a professional. Don't act like a child. Shut your mouth. Play football. Tell Stefanski you're throwing the ball wherever the fuck you want. If you throw 20 interceptions, as long as you throw me 40 TDs and we go 13 and 4, I can accept that. But if you throw me 20 interceptions with 27 TDs, I can't accept that. So you better figure it out. I know you will. Uh, Jimmy Haslam, you got a cancer ravaging that organization right now in Kevin Stefanski. The players hate him. It's evident. You've seen it. The players don't like him. Remember Jarvis Landry was in his camp? Jarvis Landry hates him now. So you got a problem on your hand in Kevin Stefanski. Guess what? You need to eradicate it before it turns into Matthew Nagy. That's all I'm saying on that.